to continue their discussions, so we go now to ketogenic amino acids. Amino acids that form acetyl coenzyme A that is converted to ketone bodies. So usually when you say ketone bodies, it contains a carbon with double bond with oxygen. So leucine and lysine only are ketogenic. And both glucogenic and ketogenic amino acids usually, usually form acetyl coenzyme A and pyruvate or citric acid cycle intermediates. For example, we have phenylalanine, tyrosine, tryptophan, isoleucine, and arginine. So take note when you say intermediates, these are not the final product of the uh, reactions or metabolic process. Okay. Next. Uh, some important but less common amino acids, we have hydroxy hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine. Usually these are found in the uh, different connective tissues. So we have the uh, collagen, which is the uh, fibers usually commonly uh, com uh, compose the uh, connective tissues. So we have collagen fibers, so we have uh, white fibers and then the yellow fibers. Uh, so for the structure, when you say hydroxyproline, so we have here the attachment of the functional group at the uh, carbon number. Uh, this is carbon number two, uh, carbon number three. Okay. So if if you want to start a uh, count, you can start. There is a, a NH so one, two, three. So we have the hydroxyl group. So usually it is the attachment of the hydroxyl group in the process of hydroxylation of proline. It will form hydroxyproline. Okay? And lysine, of course, if you want to count, pwede kayo mag-start dito sa uh, NH2 or nitrogen. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or at the bottom, 1, 2, 3. So usually it is in carbon number uh, 5 or carbon number 3 kung hindi ka mag-count sa uh, the loom or sa babaw. Okay? So usually this is the hydroxylation process of the lysine forming hydroxy lysine. Okay? Next, we have selenocysteine uh, appears in a few proteins such as glutathione peroxidase enzyme. Okay? So selenocysteine is the present of your selenium. Next, we have cysteine to selenocysteine. This one. It's just addition of your selenium group. And we have ornithine. So similar to lysine with amino group at the end of its chain. So usually this is the uh, uh, important player in the production of urine in urea cycle. So precursor to arginine, polyamines, uh, such as spermidine and spermine. Okay. So usually spermidine and spermine are found at the one component of the uh, sperm uh, cell so this is the structure so you try to see there is what we call a, a addition of the amino group at the uh, last carbon atom NH3 okay. so citrulline is derived from carbomylation of ornithine on the side chain it is the part important again in urea cycle so when we say carbomyl it is the addition of the uh, carbomyl group Usually, this is the carbamide. Okay. So, ornithine is converted to citrulline by the process of carbomylation or addition of your uh, uh, carbo, uh, carbamide or carboxamide. I mean, this is carboxamide. Okay. So, in order to, 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 to attach, I mean, the carbon atom uh, in the ornithine, especially in the NH3, because this is the positive charge. Okay. Carbon is also considered to be a positive charge. So there is what we call a phosphate group that is present to shield the positive charge of your uh, carbon or the hydrogen during the bonding with the ammonia in ornithine forming citrulline. So usually, tandaan nyo, ang phosphate is act as a shield, o parang carrier ng imuna uh, carboxamide group. Okay? So to bond with the amino group of the ornithine forming the citrulline okay next 
Next. So we have homocysteine. Homocysteine is intermediate uh, intermediate in the uh, catabolism of methionine and it is closely connected in the functional of methyl donor or s adenosyl uh, methionine. So homocysteine it is only one. So this addition of the uh, sulf or thiol group. Okay. Dito sa uh, last carbon. So, if you want to count, dito lang kung mag-count. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, this is the thiol group. It will form homocysteine. Okay. Next, we have the gamma amino butyric acid known as the GABA. Okay. It is an important neurochemical inhibits the neuronal function by binding the specific receptor or GABA receptors both in the free and postsynaptic clef. Okay. If you try to remember your anatomy, there is what we call a postsynaptic clef and the presynaptic clef. Pre before and post. So usually the neurotransmitter GABA is uh, released from the presynaptic clef and it will bind with the GABA receptors. Okay. Usually this is uh, in recall of your anatomy. Okay. Uh, GABA pentin is an analog of GABA used to relieve pain. So this one, we say analog, the structure of that uh, GABA pentin drug is Come, is coming from the GABA or gamma butyric, amino butyric acid. Okay? So, gin, gin, ano ang, gin formulate ang GABA pentin through coming from the GABA structure. So, GABA pentin uh, usually present, uh, is available in the market sa mga uh, butika or the pharmacy. So, that is almost 400 milligram, I think. Okay? And we have dihydroxyphenylalanine or DOPA is a precursor of biosynthesis of amino acids such as dopamine nor epinephrine uh, it is formed by tyrosine okay so dopa so you may say precursor so during the reactions it is the, the molecules or compound that is needed to form another product okay precursor para siya yung natawag natin na uh, one of the reactant okay next Histamine is a mediator of allergic reactions. So, later we'll discuss histamine coming from the amino acid histidine. Okay? And cycloserine is derivative of serine is an anti-tuberculous or anti-TB agent also. We have asaserine inhibits the amide group and it is also used as anti-cancer drugs. Okay? So, the reactions and separation of amino acids in the synthesis. The reactions acids is determined by of course, by the carboxyl group and the amino group. So, these are two functional groups that plays the important role in the reactions. Because, uh, based on the in the uh, description or based on the characteristic I mean of the amino acid, it is considered to be ampoteric. When you say ampoteric, pwede siya mag-act as base or pwede siya mag-act as acid or pwede siya mag-act as negative and it is uh, will act as positive. So, amino acids in solution shows ampoteric property with the solution. So, alpha carboxyl group is dissociated and it has a negative charge because of the presence of two oxygen atom. While amino group is protonated and it is considered to be positive charge of the amino group. Okay? So, if you try to see amino acid as, ac as acids plus alkali. Okay? In the alkaline medium, proton in H3 is formed and uh, is dissociated. Okay? So, yung NH3 dito dissociated and forms water after reacting with hydroxyl ion. So, usually, ang matabo na dira during the reaction. So, pwede ma-dissociate yung ammonia. Then, uh, mag-react sa OH, it will form water. So, usually, kung amino acid act as acid, Sino yung pwede mag-react dyan? Kung acid siya. Okay? Siyempre naman, ang mag-react dira is the base or the NNH3. Okay? Hindi mo na pwede ng acid mag-react dira is COH. So, it will repel the reactions. Pareha sila negative. So, dapat kung acid siya, positive ang mag-react dira. So, amino acid as base. So, minsan yung amino acid as base, that is already yung ammonia. Okay? Ammonia, sino, sino yung mag-react sa kanya? Of course, the COOH, the COO group forms COOH. Okay? In acid medium, the added proton is accepted by the uh, COO. So, usually, COO nandito. So, usually, kung i-accept niya, it will form the COOH. Okay? So, amino acids act 
as base, dapat plus acid. Hindi pwede yung base to base because there will be no uh, reactions. So, it will repel to each other. Meaning, nag-repel, hindi sila mag-react kasi parehas lang ng positive-positive. Dapat, kung base siya, dapat negative yung mag-react. That is an acid in the form of what? COOO or COOH. Okay? Next. Uh, reactions of carboxyl group. So, decarboxylation, reaction of decarboxylation of the amines. So, decarboxylation of carboxyl group in amino acids results in the formation of amines. The reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme decarboxylase formation of your histamine histamine from histidine. So, example, uh, histamine is transported by L-amino acid transporter and it binds with the receptor. Okay? Uh, histidine, I mean, histidine uh, is transported by uh, L-amino acid transporter and it binds with the receptor. And when histidine is present in the neuronal cells, histidine is decarboxylated by an enzyme known as histidine decarboxylase to form histamine. And this histamine is transported by vesicular monoamine transporters and it will in enter the glial cells. So histamine is uh, undergoes the process of uh, amination or no, no, transamination process. That is acted by enzyme histamine methyl transferase to form telemethyl histamine. So that is found in the glial cells already. Okay. So may mga usually itong H1 receptor antagonist. These are drugs that will going to block the the binding of your histamine in the uh, glial cells also. So usually dito niyo na tawag na tong ng nagkaroon ng allergic reactions. Okay. So, this one's the reaction. Histidine is converted to histamine by histidine decarboxylase enzyme. So, there is what we call removal of the CO, o, CO2 or carbon dioxide. Usually, histamine are found in plants, animals. Usually, these are released by muscles oh, as part of allergic reactions in humans. Usually, it stimulates the gastric acid. Okay? Causes dilation of capillaries, constriction of bronchial smooth muscles, and decreased blood pressure. Usually, mag-dilate, usually, gawiden yung blood vessels. So, mahina yung blood flow. So, decrease yung blood flow. Pwede, pwede magkaroon ng hypo, hypotension. Constriction, so, usually, kung mayroon kang histamine, hindi na siya, hindi ka basta-basta makaginawa because of the uh, narrowing of the bronchial smooth muscles already. So, this one is the structural uh, diagram. So, histidine, undergoes the decarboxylation process of, by the enzyme l histidine decarboxylase to form histamine. And yung histamine mo, pwede siya mag-convert ito uh, N-methyl histamine by N-methyl transferase by the reaction of transamination process. Okay? So, pwede din siya i-oxidize ng MAO or monoamine oxidase B enzyme. So, n to N-methyl uh, imidazole acetic acid or it will be oxidized by oxidase to form imidazole, uh, imidazole acetic acid so addition of the ribose no, that is acted by phosphoribose transferase enzyme so it will form imidazole acetic acid riboside so there are two, react two processes involved after histamine is being formed uh, during the reaction uh, during the the conversion of histidine to histamine and histamine will undergo two reactions the transamination and oxidation process okay so ano yung mga dopamine na yan and if any friend, usually neurotransmitters in the brain plays the vital role in a variety of, of different behaviors usually uh, ang dopamine controls the cognitive function or cognition pleasure motivation and movement of the uh, person. So, epinephrine, ito yung homo-secreted adrenal. Usually, these are considered to be emergency uh, neurotransmitter or emergency hormone. Usually, uh, released in bloodstream response to physical and mental stress. Yung mga emergency, bala. May mga sunog dara. Ah, Patong ng mga TV, patong ng mga refrigerator. So, grabe yung epinephrine mo. Okay? Stimulates bodily response, stimulation of heart rate, increased blood pressure, 
metabolic rate, blood glucose concentration, also called adrenaline. So that's why if there's an emergency, there is adrenaline rush. So that is the work. That is the work of the epinephrine. Okay. So production of dopamine to epinephrine from tyrosine. Okay. So tyrosine in the uh, neuronal cells okay, or in the presynaptic cleft. Ito. So tyrosine is converted to dopa by reaction of uh, hydroxylation acted by enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase and dopa again undergoes decarboxylation process by the enzyme aromatic amino acid decarboxylase then dopamine is hydroxylated by dopamine uh, beta hydroxylase to form the epinephrine then or norepinephrine so your norepinephrine is is transported out that neuronal cells and it will bind with the alpha beta uh, beta 1 beta 2 receptors at the post synaptic cleft so i will not discuss any more the others so this is very important because this is the synthesis okay so we go now to the structural so for example phenylalanine okay so usually phenylalanine gina siya ang Phenylalanine is can be converted to tyrosine, okay, by hydroxylation process that is acted by enzyme phenylalanine hydroxylase, and your tyrosine is converted to L-dopa or di uh, hydroxy phenylalanine by oxidation process that is acted by tyrosine oxidase enzyme, okay, and your L-dopa is converted to dopamine, okay, so aromatic. Uh, L amino acid decarboxylase so removal of the COOH you try to see na remove na ito diri to form dopamine okay so dito is a hydroxylation process wherein there is addition of hydroxyl group at phenylalanine forming tyrosine so dito yung natawag natin na uh, hydroxyl group so the addition of hydroxyl group at the aromatic ring okay to form tyrosine then tyrosine undergoes oxidation process so there is addition of your oxygen by the functional group COOH then there is decarboxylation removal of in, uh, again of carboxylic acid group or carboxyl group to form dopamine okay na remove na dito siya sa methyl group then again your dopamine undergoes hydroxylation process by dopamine hydroxylase or beta hydroxylase enzyme to form norepinephrine so there is attachment again of a hydroxyl group okay you try to see may mga hydroxyl group pala dito okay uh, tyrosine oxidase to L-dopa addition of hydroxyl group it will form L-dihydroxyphenylalanine okay to correct the reactions okay so go back to this one dopamine to dopamine hydroxylase and uh, to norepinephrine so there is addition of hydroxyl group at the methyl group diri okay so usually ethyl ito eh this is already the ethyl group so we have the beta hydroxylase enzyme the reaction is hydroxylation again the norepinephrine okay so there is what we call a addition of the methyl group at the amino group by transamination process so that is acted by norepinephrine and methyl transferase enzyme so this is already the epinephrine Okay. So, during the reaction, mayroon tayong ginatawag na mga uh, cofactor, the one that facilitates the enzymatic reactions, the tetahydrobiopterin from tyrosine to dopa. Okay? And we have the uh, epi norepinephrine to epinephrine, we have the S-adenosine, adenosyl methionine to S-adenosyl uh, homocysteine. So, these are considered to be mga cofactors during enzymatic reactions. Mga ka naman, cofactors, these are uh, molecules or compounds that facilitate the enzymatic reactions. Okay? Next, so production of serotonin from tryptophan. Okay? Mga ka naman ang mga serotonin, this substance is formed from tryptophan and found in many animals. Usually, uh, makita sa antistine, CNS. So, serotonin acts as a neurotransmitter involved in the control of pain, perception, so yung sleep-wake uh, sleep cycle ng person, uh, humans, I mean. Uh, serotonin is also produced in bacteria and plants. So, tryptophan, 
is converted to serotonin by hydroxylation process that is acted by tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme. Okay, so if try, try to see, tryptophan is converted to 5-hydroxytryptophan, 5-HT by tryptophan hydroxylase enzyme. Then, pwede magkaroon ng decarboxylation process or removal of this carboxyl group by the enzyme dopamine decarboxylase to form serotonin which is known to be the neurotransmitters the one that controls the pain perception of the human being okay so a biosynthesis of the nutritionally non-essential amino acids so we have humans can synthesize 12 of the 20 common uh, amino acids or amphibolic intermediates of glycolysis and citric acid cycle Nutritionally, the non-essential amino acids have short biosynthetic pathway. So, this one. Nutritionally, non-essential amino acids. So, mga mga non-essential, they are not uh, supplied in diet. Okay? Because they are synthesized in the, in the body. So, glutamate and glutamine. Okay? The reductive amination of alpha-ketoglutarate. Reductive amination. Meaning, there is the uh, addition of the amino group reductive ha? is catalyzed by enzyme uh, glutamate dihydroxinase enzyme so the nicotinine adenine dinucleotide is converted to nic nic uh, nicotini uh, nicotinic adenine dinucleotide that is NAD okay itong nicotinic I mean nicotinic adenine dinucleotide are uh, reducing agent so there is what we call uh, on the reduction process so your NH4 pwede siya convert into water okay amination of glutamate to glutamine is catalyzed by enzyme glutamine synthetase enzyme okay so meaning yung glutamate mo converts it to the glutamine this is uh, the reaction is considered to be a, a addition i mean of your amino group again okay and the removal of your uh, ester group so this is considered to be uh s the esterification process and at the same time amination process so there is what we call also a a, a conversion of your atp to adp or known to be the adenosine triphosphates to adp so one phosphate group is uh, utilized because it is energy dependent while glutamine is converted to glutamate that is acted by enzyme glutaminase so there is removal of your NH3 likewise also in conversion of glutamate to glutamine there is also a removal of your amine, ammonia group I mean ammonia group okay next transamination reactions of alanine to form pyruvate catalyzed by alanine aminotransferase so tandaan nyo ha aminotransferase or transaminase same enzyme lang yan ang reaction nila is transaminase so alanine plus yung alpha ketoglutarate nyo okay so there is what we call a transamination okay so the transfer of your um, ammonia from alanine it to alpha ketoglutarate pwede siya mag form ng glutamate correct and then your pyruvate so Removal, so makaroon ito ng oxygen removal, okay? Removal of the ammonia group plus yung oxidation process, it will form pyruvate. So this is a reversible reaction. Kung i-reverse mo siya, i-remove mo siya, deamination process, okay? And we have deoxygenation form alanine, ito mag-form ng glutarate, okay? So this is cross A. So nakita mo. <clears throat> yung oxygen ng ketoglutarate mo dito mapunta sa alanine so that is uh, transfer okay so that is cross transfer of both two functional group the CO the oxygen and the NH3 okay next aspartate and asparagine transamination of oxalo uh, acetate forms aspartate the conversion of aspartate to asparagine is catalyzed by enzyme asparagine synthase enzyme okay so we have your uh, 
aspartate to asparagine. Okay, usually there is what we call a, a amination process, correct? So amination meaning ng amination mo uh, addition of your amino group at the aspartate dito. Kasi this is considered to be an ester. Basta may COO. Okay? So, this is glycine to glutamine. Okay? So, there is what we call utilization, utilization of uh, magnesium. Magnesium is already, kung natawag nato na cofactor or the uh, cofactor of the reactions. Mga mga cofactor sila yung capacitate na reactions. So, ATP is converted to AMP. So, almost two uh, phosphate group is utilized during the reactions. So, you have adenosine triphosphate to adenosine monophosphate plus yung 2 or phosphate or pyro, uh, the diphosphate or the inorganic phosphate. Yan. Okay? Next. Next, we have serine, oxidation of alpha hydroxyl group of glycolytic intermediate 3-phosphoglycerate converts to oxo acid, whose subsequent transmination and dephosphorylations leads to the formation of your serine. So, so we have here the uh, the mama D that is dextro dextro phosphoglycerate. So, there is what we call a, a reduction process. Okay? So, reduction process or this is what we call a dehydrogenation process or removal of your hydrogen that is acted by your reducing agent known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide plus hydrogen. It will form phosphohydroxypyruvate. Okay? So, yung alpha amino acid is converted to the alpha keto uh, amino acid okay this one are considered to be mga cofactors so the addition i mean of the phospho l serine okay so ang, ang nagform dyan is phospho uh, l serine wherein there is what you call addition of ammonia group so the reaction is amination and your phospho l serine again <coughs> take note there is what we call a removal of the phosphate group and the reaction is con uh, the phospho l serine is converted to serine the reaction is dephosphorylation process okay this removal at the same time your water is added to remove your phosphate group so dephosphorylation or hydrolysis process and hydrogenation process the addition of your hydrogen to form your serine okay that is l serine is the final product 